Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate boot configuration data for Windows 11 or Windows 10. If you are seeing boot configuration data is missing error on your computer screen, then don't panic. I am here to guide you through the process of fixing it step by step. Whether you are using Windows 11 or Windows 10, this guide will help you to get your system up and running again. So let's get started. Before we start fixing anything, let's understand what this error actually means. The boot configuration data is missing error occurs when your computer's boot configuration data becomes corrupted, preventing your operating system from loading properly. This can happen due to various reasons such as improper shutdown, hardware changes, or when you wrongly delete EFI system partition or system reserve partition. However, at first, let me show you what is the actual problem in my case. When I am trying to boot from my boot disk, as you can see, system failed to boot from my boot disk. And when I am trying to check the bcd files by typing bcd edit command, then here shows the boot configuration data store could not be opened and the requested system device cannot be found. Whatever the issue is, let's fix this dreaded boot configuration data is missing error. To manually repairing the boot configuration data, you will need a Windows 11 or Windows 10 installation media. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Boot your computer from the installation media. Select your language preferences and click next. Click on repair your computer, then troubleshoot and open command prompt. Type disk part and press enter. Next type list disk and press enter. The disk command shows the available disk on your computer. Next you will need to select boot disk. So type the command cell disk your boot disk number and press enter. Next type list fall and press enter. The list fall command displays the volume on the selected disk. Next, you will need to select your system volume. So type the command cell fall your system volume number and press enter. Next, you will need to create a new partition for EFI system. Ensure the size is for suitable for EFI files and aligns to the correct offset for optimal performance. So type the command string desire equals to type your amount of string and press enter. Ok as you can see the disk part successfully shrunk the volume by 300 MB. After shrinking a partition and creating unallocated space you will need to create a new EFI partition from that unallocated space. So type the command create partition EFI and press enter. Ok, as you can see the message, this part succeeded in creating the specified partition. Now type list wall and press enter. Ok, as you can see, here it is. Now you will need to select your EFI volume. So type the command cell wall your EFI volume number and press enter. Next type assign letter equals to type your letter which you want to assign note assign drive letter should be an unique drive letter which has not already been used and press enter ok as you can see the message disk part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point you can type list fall and press enter to verify your EFI volume is successfully assigned with specific drive letter or not after that type exit and press enter to exit from the disk part. Now type your OS drive letter which is usually C. Give a colon and hit enter and type dir and hit enter to confirm. Next you will need to recreate the windows vcd. First you will need to format your EFI partition. So type the command format space your assigned drive letter colon space for slash fs colon fat32 and hit enter. Type Y and hit enter to confirm. If it asks for set volume level then just hit enter to leave it default. 
you can verify by typing your assigned drive letter, give a colon and hit enter and type dir and hit enter to confirm. Ok as you can see after formatting our EFI volume is completely empty without volume level. Next you will need to recreate the BCD. Note the BCD boot command should be executed from the OS drive. So type your OS drive letter, give a colon and hit enter and type dir and hit enter to confirm if it's your OS drive. Ok here it is. If your OS drive letter is different then check with another drive letter. Once you confirm, finally type the command bcd boot your os drive letter colon backward slash windows space forward slash is space your assigned drive letter colon space forward slash f space all and hit enter. Well, as you can see the message, the boot files successfully created. Now type exit and hit enter to exit from the command prompt. Now turn off your PC and remove the Windows installation media from your computer's USB port. That's it. After that, turn your PC back on and check if your boot issue have been solved. Ok as you can see the boot was successful without any interruption. Now let me show you the BCD files after recreating the BCD. Ok as you can see here is the boot configuration information that are currently configured and as you can see there is no more error message about the boot configuration data store could not be opened and the requested system device cannot be found. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like comment and share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.